I've spent the last three weeks building this library into a place where people can come together, where they can just share ideas, where they can meet each other, and where they can just be in peace together. <laughs> and now it's all being torn apart for no good reason. We're not hurting anybody here. We're not hurting anyone. We just want to be here and meet each other <laughs> and learn together. We just want to try and build a new world. Welcome back to the Florida Senior Group here in Chicago, Monday, November 28th. Hopefully everyone had a great Thanksgiving weekend and we saw some wonderful retail sales from the Black Friday. No doubt about it folks, we are seeing a sensational rally today, but when did this rally actually happen and what is going to happen the next day? Because this rally is based essentially off of retail sales and the agreement to further agree in Europe. That's not even rational folks, I agree. So comment on this video, I am the killer, you can get me at the killer as well. My comments, but what are your thoughts? The rally here is it just due to the fact there's an oversold condition? We saw seven down days over in the equities, so we're seeing this little bounce. We're seeing three and a half percent. We're seeing that Dow above 300 points right now. But I think one telltale is that the U.S. Treasury market would close on Wednesday prior to uh, the Thanksgiving Day of a 1.88 percent in the 10 year. We saw it fly up to 2.07, but we're not seeing this mass exodus. Like everything is, is going to be okay. Therefore, I'm a little tended to say that we're out of the woods here folks. I think we're going to see this holding pattern, these wild gyrations persist until December 9th, if not past that, because we don't have any resolution out of Europe right now. But anything short of that Euro bond, which I've been talking about, I think we're going to see the market disappoint. Because right now they are trying to figure out behind the scenes, due to the fact that Merkel just addressed the fact last week that she said a Euro bond would be extraordinarily inappropriate. That means they're talking about it folks, but there's smoke, there's fire. So they are trying to figure out how they could do that and that would stem all the crisis and you would see a 10 to 14 percent rally most likely in the equity today we're seeing a three and a half percent rally but let's remember we were nearly down 10 percent in the last week or so so i think right now we have to figure out where is the market leadership and what is the focus well if you look at gold gold's back above 1700 dollars here that's going to attract more people in the gold oil oil was the actual indicator if you look friday i was gnawing on a turkey leg up here in the office and trying to figure out the market but you saw the oil the last hour there had a complete disconnect from the S&P future. We had rallied about a full dollar and everyone's kind of scratching their head and raising an eyebrow saying what's going on? But sure enough, the Syrian sanctions came in and they popped oil above $100 last night to $174. So right now we're seeing that oil come off a little bit back and forth at $98, $99 level. But we're seeing these equity gains be sustainable. I don't think we can sustain though and I think that's another reason it's a good opportunity to sell this level. We're seeing the S&P at 1196 and a quarter. You know, we talked about 1193 and that HFT action above that this morning on Twitter. We haven't seen it come off yet, but the day is still young, folks. So we're here all week. Have a great all week. I'm not here all week. I take that back. I'm actually going to New York tomorrow evening, speaking on a panel uh, on Wednesday and Thursday. But maybe I'll, I'll be able to bring a NASDAQ shot later in the week with sell puts. So hopefully you guys have a great week trading. Be nimble, be quick. And one other thing, be the hammer, not the nick. Every day I'm shuffling.